Hi there, welcome to another episode of AKC's Home is Where the Dog Is. My name is Giselle and my canine co-stars today are Duke and Ruby, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. It's becoming more and more common for companies to allow employees to bring their dogs to work. In fact, it's been found that having your dog in the workplace can boost morale, increase productivity, and keep workers motivated. But there is more to know about bringing your dog to the office. You need to also make sure they follow certain rules and are properly trained and well-mannered around your colleagues. Today we will discuss some do's and don'ts for bringing your dog to work. Before bringing your canine friend to the office, make sure he is vaccinated and that all of his shots are up to date. If he has been under the weather, it's best to keep him home to avoid spreading any possible illnesses to other dogs in the office. In some settings, your dog will have to pass the AKC's Canine Good Citizen test before coming to work with you. Additionally, consider your dog's temperament. If your dog is unnerved by changes in environment or social situations, the attention and strange noises associated with an office may cause your dog undue stress. If your dog has aggression issues, it's best to keep him home to avoid any risky encounters in the office. If your dog is fine around these types of environments, great! Before you bring him to the office, make sure you get prior approval from your human resources department that dogs are permitted in your building. Additionally, make sure you ask your boss for permission and ask your coworkers if they're allergic or opposed to your dog being in the office. Once you get the okay from your boss and your HR department, it's vital to make sure that your office area is dog proofed. Make sure exposed wires near your desk are taped down to avoid electrocution. If there are kitchen cabinets and trash cans that may contain food or cleaning products, make sure to use child safety latches to secure them. Even the most socialized dog will need to feel at home in this new environment. Make sure to pack a bag with everything you'll need for the day, including a water and food bowl, a familiar better blanket to help him feel secure, some toys and treats, a leash for walks, and cleanup bags to pick up waste. Be sure to always use designated outdoor areas for your dog to relieve himself on breaks. Keep in mind, no one likes a stinky pooch, so make sure to give your dog a bath and have him properly groomed before bringing him to meet your colleagues. Remember to always be a responsible dog owner and keep a close eye on your dog at all times. It's also helpful to have a work buddy who agrees to watch your dog if you go to a meeting or a call the way from your desk. So what have we learned today about bringing your dog to the office? Get prior approval from your boss and HR department before bringing your dog to work. Make sure your dog is not sick, is vaccinated, and up to date with his shots. Make sure your office is dog proof by taping down exposed wires and locking up cabinets and trash cans. Help your dog feel at home by bringing their leash, food, and water bowls, toys, treats, and a familiar blanket. Having a stinky dog in the office can be bothersome to some coworkers, so make sure he is bathed and groomed beforehand. Always be a responsible dog owner and keep an eye on your dog the whole time or have a designated coworker who watches them if you are called away from your desk. We hope you learned some useful tips today on bringing your dog to the office. And a big thank you to our canine stars, Duke and Ruby, for showing us how all dogs should behave in the workplace. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to AKC's YouTube channel or visit our website at akc.org. Thanks for watching. See you next time.